What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division Universe video and why 2023 is going to be the year of the Division Universe. We're going to be talking Division 1, Division 2, Division Heartland, and the Division Resurgence because they are all going to be interconnected. And yes, we are also going to be talking about the Division 3. That's right. We're going to be talking about all of that and more in this video. So like always, sit back, relax, grab that popcorn. Don't forget to hit that like. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're making our way to 61,000 subscribers. So make sure you know you hit that sub, support the channel, ring that notification bell. You know the whole spiel. Now with this video, we are going to be in the Twitterverse. So this is my Twitter page at Kamikaze Von Doom. So don't forget to follow me on there for all of the, you know, all of the news before I cover it in a video. I do these videos after the fact. So like today, all this news happened today and then I'm reporting on it, you know, later on today. So if you wanna get it all as soon as it happens, just follow me on Twitter and you will get all the news about the Division universe, actually, the entire thing. Now, as far as anything else, uh, I think that's it for this Twitter page. So we're gonna talk about Morton Ryberg. So Morton Ryberg is the product director for the Division game at Ubisoft Massive. Now the Division game is kind of tricky. So the Division game covers the Division 1 and 2, but socially it seems to be covering the Division Heartland. Now the Division Resurgence is on here because it's a part of the universe. However, the Division Resurgence has its own Twitter page at the Div Mobile. Now why am I bringing this up? Because... The Division Heartland is on this as well. Now, we all know from the community managers and developers over there at uh, Red Storm and Massive, they are working together for marketing and things like that. So in a little bit, I'll show you some Ubisoft Forward stuff where you know, you'll have a Massive community dev working with a Red Storm community dev. One's talking about Division 2, one's talking about the Division Heartland. Now, I'm going to point out certain things that they say within that Ubisoft Forward event. We're going to connect some dots. We're going to put our tinfoil hats on and have a little bit of fun. Because I'm going to show you exactly how this wheel is turning right into the Division 3. But it's going to have some stops on the way. Now, one of those stops was, uh, was kind of uh, spotlighted today from Morton Ryberg. Now... You could read this tweet in two different lights, and I'm, I'm going to read it, and then I'm going to explain the two different ways you could read this, okay? So, here we go. So, it says, If you wonder why we changed the numbering of the seasons with Year 5, Division 2, to Year 5, Season 1, here's the reason. And then it shows, you know, Season 1, 2, 3, 4, and then it goes down to 9. Okay. I understand this. Now... You can look at this in two different lights, okay? You can look at this as him trying to explain why they're just going to do, like, year whatever, season whatever. That way you can just see what it is. Um, because, remember, in year two and year three, between seasons four and nine, we had reruns. We redid those seasons again because during COVID, everything, you know, was put on hold, you know, pushed to the right, far right. And then all of a sudden with year four, we had season nine, and then we finally had new content that actually added to the story of the game. Okay, I understand this. However, another way of looking at this is, well, what else is going to start at the beginning of year five, season one? Hmm, I'll give you a hint. It has something to do with the heartland, right? So... The, the two ways you could look at it is simple. One, you could look at it as, oh, he's just trying to say they're going to rename it, you know, year five, season one. That way there's no confusion. But there wasn't any confusion in the beginning. I mean, we had the reruns, but people weren't confused at the reruns. They were confused at why were we getting reruns. They were like, you know, the game's dead, we're not getting any new content, what the F, you know, blah, blah, blah. I mean, hell, Ubisoft even announced that they were planning on shutting down The Division 2 after title update 12 and season 4. So, I mean, there were many reasons why 
uh, we had you know re you know redoing seasons. We had reruns. There, there's a bunch of reasons why, and there's a reason why that with season nine it continued the story, and we have this little jump here, rightfully so. But the story ends right at season eleven, or does it? We don't know. So the other way of looking at this is pretty simple. So seasons one through four, we started to unlock, you know, Keener's Rogue Gallery, and we found out about Fei Lau, Brandon Schaefer, our Barden Schaefer. There you go. And then with season nine, 10, and 11, we found out that Schaefer was undercover with Fei Lau, that Fei Lau was not only uh, romantically involved with some of these manhunt people, but she was also, you know, double crossing a lot of them. We also found out about Anderson. We found out about McManus and the Hunters. And we also found out about Natalia Sokolova. Now, with that being said, Reign of Fire. This is going to be the showdown with Natalia. We've had some leaks and data mine leaks, and I'm sure we'll get some more this year, just like we did the last few years, about where this story is heading. Now, we know that it's you know, it's coming up with a conclusion. We we know that each of these games, they'll have their conclusion story, and then that's it, and then they'll build up to the next one. We get it. So with that being said, Season 11, in theory, right? Speculating here. Season 11, with some of the leaks that we had data mined, it, it's pretty much, you know, the end. Unless it falls on another cliffhanger, which, knowing, you know, this development team it's probably going to fall under another cliffhanger i mean let's be real captain lewis cliffhanger uh anderson cliffhanger uh Feilau, <laughs> pretty much a cliffhanger schaefer he's in a coma cliffhanger i mean uh, all of these the the only one that they finally like officially said it was Feilau. Feilau's dead officially but everyone else <laughs> it's still up in the air i mean who knew that captain lewis's first name was ron and why did uh, Kelso say his name by the first person like five times during that prime target event, even though all of the subtitles and everything said his name was Captain Lewis? It was very odd, but it, it's all pointing to the end of that story. And then, you know, the final downhill slope of the Division Two arc. So what I'm saying here is it, it's going to be, you know, we're, we're hitting our 1.8 timeline for the Division One for all you veterans out there, where year five is going to start to be the swan song. It's, it's going to be, that's all, uh, that's all, folks. That's all, folks. And that, that's kind of what we're going with here. Because as season five, uh, year five, season one comes out, this is supposed to come out, I believe, in spring. And we'll pull up the uh, roadmaps and everything here in a bit. But that's supposed to come out in spring, right? Heartland is set to come out before March. And we found out that Resurgence is slated to come out this year. So we have three games that will all be giving us new content this year in the Division universe. We're going to have the Division Heartland. We're going to have the end of Season 4, which the PTS comes out this month. So the end of season four starts next month, uh, the end of year four. And then year five, season one, that's starting over. And then we're going to have Heartland and then Resurgence. So we're going to have year five, Heartland and Resurgence all going together in tandem. And, you know, come on, we, we know where this is going to end. But let's go ahead and start connecting the dots. So let's jump over to the Ubisoft Forward. We'll come back here. I'll show you some evidence. We'll talk about it. We'll connect the dots, and I want to hear what your thoughts are. Here we go. Okay, so there's going to be a couple freeze frames that I'm going to pull from and talk to um, because this is really all of the official public information that has been released about these titles and about the Division universe. All of this comes from the most recent Ubisoft Forward event, and here's the first freeze frame. It says, now we want to reiterate our commitment to the long-term future of The Division 2. Now, this is when Daria, one of the community developers, was talking about how 
not only were they doing year four, but they were doing year five. Now, year five is what is in question for all of this, this entire video. Now, year five is what is going to connect this game to the Division universe, whether that be via Division Heartland or Division Resurgence. Now, depending on who you would talk to, some would say, oh, well, you know, Resurgence is more um, along than Heartland because Resurgence is doing all of these live tests and they're getting everyone um, in the community involved. And, you know, we have all of this footage, all of this gameplay, all of this background, all the cutscenes, everything from Resurgence. We're getting all of these details showing us this uh, free or this mobile game. I wouldn't necessarily say free to play because I'm sure there's going to be something in there. But nevertheless, that's where everyone's head is at right now. They're all like, oh, well, Resurgence. They're doing these live tests. They're doing this, that, whatever. We're seeing videos on it, everything. And that's because they did that live test with no NDA and everyone went berserk. And rightfully so. It helped build hype around the Division Universe via Division Resurgence. Now, my mindset is going the opposite way, where right now they're showing you all the cards for Division Resurgence, right? We still have to wait a while for Resurgence, where Heartland is right there. Now, the reason why I freeze-framed right here is because of what comes next. Now here's the next freeze frame. The future is bright for the Division 2 and the Division franchise as a whole. And then this is where it kind of goes into the Division Heartland. Now I'm just playing Ubisoft forward footage right here. And as soon as she's done talking about the future of the Division 2 and the franchise and how it's going to blossom into the Division universe, the first thing they talk about is the Division Heartland. Now, this is the only official, you know, information and stuff we have been given from Ubisoft following, you know, Heartland at all. Now, we have had Heartland on our radar for two years now. They first talked about this two years ago with Terry Spire at the helm as creative director. But since then, what, probably, I don't know, six months ago, maybe a little bit longer now, Terry Spire is now not the creative director, and here's your creative di director right here. And this is Keith. Now, he was working, Keith Evans, he was working with Terry Spire since Division 1 days. Every time we saw the Division 1 state of the game, we saw this guy right here, Keith, sitting next to Terry Spire. So we know that the game is still in good hands, but where is it? Where is this game? So... Talking to, you know, random people and not so random people throughout the community, I know that this game has been in testing and out of testing for the whole two years. It's been on a monthly rotation, and the last one in December did pick up, and there was another playtest in December. So the question is, where is this game? Everyone is saying that this game is well-polished, that there are a few things... Uh, movement-wise, that are a little glitchy, but everything else seems polished, good to go, and ready to ship. Now, when I say ready to ship, this game is going to be free-to-play on all platforms. We already know this. We already know that the game has an official rating of M for Mature, just like all of the other Division uh, titles. And we know that per their Ubisoft... Um, physical year uh, meetings that this game is set to be released by the end of this fiscal year, which means by March. So that means that this game has between now and March to be released unless they're pushing it again for some reason. Now, I have been a part of certain things revolving around the game, and I'm not going to talk about any experiences here nor there. However, I know from numerous people that have talked publicly about it, they all love the game. So I'm thinking that with that uh, bridge between the Division 2 and the Division Universe, I think the very first stop is going to be the Division Heartland. 
Both games are following under this Twitter page right here, Tom Clancy's The Division. This Twitter page is the only one to encase The Division Heartland, and I think that with that, they're going to be marketing The Division 2 with The Division Heartland to try to pump those numbers up. So here's my speculation timeline, right? Because we all want to know it. When's it going to happen? What's it going to do? So remember that from Morton, Morton's timeline, Year 5, Season 1 is, is it, really, right? So let's, uh, let's start with our holiday timeline. So the holiday timeline ends January 31st, okay? This is the time that all the holiday exclusives are deactivated. Everything will be deactivated uh, holiday-wise by the end of this month, all right? Now, the login bonuses and all of that, those are all gone, um, we're still doing, what, one more global event after this one, and then that's going to be over. The Santa outfit has been deactivated. Um, the only thing we're waiting on is the loot goblin to change and not drop the Slayer chill-out mask or um, the O'Carroll. Um, besides that, I mean, January 31st seems to be the last thing for anything as far as year four is... Or, is it year four? No, season 10 is concerned. Now, going to their other timeline is where we talk about year four versus year five. So let's scroll down a bit. And again, this is all off of their public Twitter. And you'll find all of this on my Twitter page at Kamikaze Von Doom because anything division is on there as well. Now, the other roadmap, geez, it's been a while since they've even talked about it. Okay. Keep going. So their other roadmap actually shows what Morton was talking about. Come on, jeez. It's like freezing up. <laughs> I'm scrolling so much it's freezing up. That's crazy. Keep going. Come on. And our timeline... Holy moly, they haven't talked about it in forever. This is probably why Morton said something today. Holy crap, they haven't talked about it in ages. Here we go, boom, jeez. They haven't talked about it since November. Anyways, after scrolling for 15 years later, right here, Spring 2023, Season 1, Year 5. This is my... Uh, I guess speculation or guess or theory or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to say that Heartland comes out spring 2023. And I think that season one is going to start to connect the dots. It's going to start to say, you know, little hints here and there. Hey, did you hear about those people over there in the Heartland? And then it's going to be like, oh, did you hear what they said? Oh, man, that's crazy. And then little, little like things like that. I'm sure it'll start off with little Easter eggs here and there. Because remember, Heartland is separate. It's a standalone game. It has nothing to do with one or two. But it will have elements of the Division universe in it. Which, rightfully so. So it, it only, you know, it, it's only right and proper that this game is going to say something about Heartland. And that season one, I think, is where things will start to open up. Because with what Morton has said... Season 11, this early 2023, we're getting the PTS this month. We're getting season 11 next month. So with all that said and done, I mean, at the end of season 11, that, that's it. I mean, game over, man. Game over, man. Because then the storyline's going to be finished. Because Natalia Sokolova is going to be dead. Um, or <laughs> who knows? Might be another cliffhanger. Uh, we, we still have to take care of Anderson with Natalia. We don't know where um, Captain Lewis even went or why she kept calling him, what, what was she saying, Ron? Like over and over? Uh, it, it was so confusing during that uh, prime target with Anderson. Um, but still, it's all supposed to end right here in season 11. And then with year five and you know season one, this is where the universe is starting, people. I mean, this is pretty damn close. They're not going to be able to delay this, like, to the end of the year. It's just not going to happen. And with Heartland right there about to come out, I mean, 
who knows? They might even release Heartland during season 11, and then in year five, they start to bridge the gap between the two. Um, that would probably fit the timeline more. So to update my theory on this, or speculation, whatever you want to call it, season 11, early 2023, I bet this comes out, and really, like, shortly after, Heartland, and then probably Heartland between seasons 11 and season 1 for year 5, and then as soon as year 5 starts and season 1 starts, they're going to start bridging the gap to Heartland, and then at the end-ish of 2023, we're going to see Resurgence come out, and then them bridge the gap between that as well. Because all of this will become, you know, a one-wheel motion where Heartland, Resurgence, and Division 2 are all going to be producing content at the same time to the community. And this will definitely bring up Division 3. There's no doubt about it. I mean, Massive went from no one knowing about them with Tom Clancy's The Division to now they are like the poster child for Ubisoft. I mean, they're doing, what, Star Wars? That is probably one of the biggest IPs that Disney owns. Like, these are big, big companies that are choosing massive, right? And we're not even talking about that Avatar game because the Avatar game has been in development for years. Not only that, but they had finished. They were about to release it. And then they delayed it for like two years due to COVID and the, the delays of the movies. So I'm like 100% sure that they are done with that Avatar game. And since then, they have only been doing slight tweaks or probably adding something for future content. I mean, I, I think that Avatar game has been shelved and is ready to go as soon as James Cameron and everyone over there at Avatar hits that button. Rightfully so. Because all the rumors and everything on that Avatar game is it's supposed to cover all of the movies. And this was the first of four sequels. So there's going to be another three Avatar movies. That's huge. Or is it another two Avatar movies? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's still going to be huge. And rightfully so. I mean, James Cameron's, uh, uh, James Cameron, his reaction to Avatar is what led Disney and Star Wars to pick up Massive for the Star Wars game. So, I mean, it, it's getting Massive to that point that by the time that Star Wars is ready to ship Avatars out, they're going to be full steam ahead to fully send us a Division 3. Everyone sitting there saying this or that is dead. They have no idea what's going on. And this Division universe is just getting started. So like I said in the beginning, and like I'm going to say now, hell, I'm even going to put it in the thumbnail. 2023 is the year the Division universe is going to get its due, and it's going to be amazing. I can't wait. Having all three of these games working together and then finally building us up to something even bigger is going to be amazing. I can't wait for Heartland. I can't speak much on it, but all I can say is, is give me Heartland. I want it. I will be playing that game all day, all night. Don't care. Um, well, I mean, <laughs> obviously, around the whole baby situation. But still, I can't wait to play that game. You know what I'm saying. I'm just excited. I'm pumped. But, uh, I mean, Resurgence is a different apple to eat. I'm not sure if that one's going to be poisonous being, you know, mobile or not. But still, I'm super excited for Heartland. I think that year five of the Division 2 might be that 1.8... That, you know, we saw in the Division 1 where everything came together and everyone was, you know, happy, kumbaya. And then we sing, you know, our, our praises on our way to the next game. But let me think your, you know, your thoughts, comments down below. I am uh, happy to talk to you guys. And uh, yeah, hit that like, subscribe. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. Don't forget to have all this information and more. Just follow me on Twitter at Kamikaze Von Doom. And I will see you all in the next one. Have a good day, everyone. Peace.